everyone, it's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage. I haven't made a video in the last few days. Uh, we've been doing some dry shaft work and some other stuff. I just had to put the camera down and just flat out get stuff done. So I'm going to spin the camera around. We're going to show okay, you. Okay, so if you remember the video from the other day, the car that had the dry shaft problem, the dry shaft was hitting <clears throat> the bottom of the car whenever I accelerated. Uh, so this is what we figured out. This is the old carrier bearing. So this is supposed to be pressed in here like this. Not pressed, but the rubber. So the rubber is all torn out. Uh, the bearing is still good. Really smooth. The Guibo bushing was getting ready to blow up. You can see all the cracks in this side. This side was starting to chunk out. Uh, when that blows up, that hits the bottom of your car, that rips your exhaust off. That just totally goes. So this car is a manual, but I found out a lot with these manuals. Uh, kids get them, they dump the clutch, uh, just tear the hell out of everything, so, sorry about the wind, it's really windy today. Uh, so this car, when I let the clutch out, the whole shaft would bounce and, uh, hit the car. Um, let me go ahead and take you under the car and show you a little bit more what's going on here. Okay, so I'm trying to hold it steady, it's kind of difficult under the car. Uh, here's the new Guibo installed, so you only have to take out three of the bolts. Um, it takes the Guibo out on these <clears throat> 3 series you have to take the exhaust off the exhaust is right here see the flange it's not even put back up in there yet it's just stuck on there with one bolt uh, a lot of times these studs will snap off uh, if that happens you can take an air hammer or possibly a regular hammer knock out the studs and just put a bolt and nut on it so you just got to make sure your gas is good. You're going to come back here. You're going to take off the crossmember mount. There's also one that goes right behind it. Uh, there's 13 millimeter. So the exhaust is going to fall down. <clears throat> and you can actually lay it down on the ground. You can't really get back far enough without getting the sunlight to show you guys. Uh, so the exhaust lays on the ground, lays off to the side. You can see this tin. Let's see if I can point it out for you here right there okay uh, it's not tin it's actually aluminum you take that down the cross members actually bolt to that and hold that up and there is two tins in the front one right there one on the side you can't see from here <clears throat> so right above the converter uh, if you have a battery impact this is a pretty easy job uh, the hardest part is getting the guibo out I always take the three bolts out first on the guibo got to take the shaft loose as you can see right there so you take the three out and you take the uh carrier bearing out which is under the converter over here uh there's two bolts i should have done this while i had it apart and doing it but it was to the point to where it would have been almost impossible to video it when i was doing it uh unless i have a lift which i do not have uh so that's pretty much all with that it's not too bad of a job um, of course, somebody had these bolts almost stripped out and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, but the car does fine now without any problems. And, uh, hopefully that's going to be the end of that. So anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. Um, if this video helped you out, helped you change your shaft, uh, help you conquer some of the fears, uh, if you're scared of doing it yourself, give me a thumbs up, uh, comment subscribe to my channel uh, look me up on Facebook Instagram Nathan's DIY garage thank you